beautiful old garden spider, female I'll take. Look at this web, I don't know if it took up on this video or not. That zigzag stitch it's got going down there. Pretty cool. My daughter found it yesterday. It's in her garden. Beaut. All right, guys. You shoot the bow. We got a new sight. We got to sight it in. Let's see all of it. There's my bow, my lefty. I'm a Parker. It's an older model, Wildfire Extreme. And I use uh, Bow Hunter Graphite uh, 400 8.4 GPI. Not sure what all that means. But uh, not graphite, I'm sorry, carbon fiber. Carbon CS, C2s, I guess it looks like. That shows up. And uh, that's my bow. Just got a new sight. And I got a bone collector. I don't know if this is even showing up. Looks fuzzy on my camera. Bone collector four pin sight. It's got the uh, it's got the little light on the bottom corner. Had a three pin sight before. This has got the glow ring on the outside plus uh, plus the individual beads show up pretty good. And you throw the light on. It's got a blue light and it works really well. But I had to reconfig last night. I'm a lefty, so everything's backwards on the sight. So I'm kind of normally the ball would be down. I have to flip everything over. And I tried doing it another way yesterday and it wasn't going to work. So I had to flip it over and start all over from scratch today. So this is Earl. Here's my range. And, uh, I'm at the hunt club. I right, got my markings. There's a 30 footer there. 40 footer there. And 20. 20 is up by the tree right there. And 10 in between about midway in between that and target so we'll give it a shot and see what happens i may try strapping this on because i want to hunt with it next year this year might get the strap on device i'm going to try and see what happens it's a little loose last time i tried it but we'll see later and by still. the way i use a simple knot coil release um just it's a feather light trigger no frills nothing fancy i don't even know what the brand is it's fairly economical in price when I got it I think it was around the $20 range but it served me well for three years and I don't see why you got to pay a hundred and some bucks for a release when you got one it works just as well at 20 so that's just me have a good one let's go shoot some well more. to be honest I'm pretty impressed because my very first shot we're flipping this sight around and just judging by eyeball the 10 yards is a dead freaking ringer and that impresses me because that sight was way off and I just kind of my other one was way down low as you can see or I'm sorry way up high the ring itself is way up high on the sight being a lefty the mounts on the lower position so I had to adjust the ring up if this thing was a righty it had been flipped up the other way and I'd probably been down but that's what happens when you're lefty but I just took the old one and mounted it from this side and gauged up and down knew about where my left right should be that ain't bad for the first shot with a total blind adjustment all right, all right. so I shot three more how's that for tight squeeze one two three one two third one's on the bottom but i'm off a little bit i'm down down and left so uh they say follow the arrow so i gotta make an adjustment down and left let's see what happens 
<laughs> Pretty tight little squeeze for 10 yards. But there's the three of them. One, two, three. That was at my first shot. Probably rushed out a little bit. So we're going to readjust. So here are my holes last time. There's where I'm at now. I adjusted down and to the left just to here. So I'm still looking at it. I still need to come up. I still not come up. I'm sorry. I still need to come down just to here. And maybe to the left again of just to here. Let's readjust for a shoot anymore. We'll All right, made an adjustment. Last three shots, I believe, were here, here, and here. I'm sorry, here, here, and here. So uh, looks like I'm slightly, but I'm gonna slightly up and right. Took a couple more shots just to make sure. Let's we'll see what right, happens. Made my adjustments. Right. Done this one now because I know I pulled just a hair right before I pulled the trigger on that one. So. I'm taking looking at my groupings of just a hair to the left. I already made my final adjustment, hopefully, and uh, I'll take one or two more shots, and hopefully that one will be in the zinger, and then we move on to 20. Later. All right, I took two more. Pretty daggone close, and just a hair left. But I'm gonna live with that for the moment. I'm standing here. I'm standing here right at the uh, firing box, so that's close enough. 10 yards. I'm gonna. Let that go for right now. I'm going to check because I want to. My goal is to get to 20 and 30 in the day. So before I get all wore out. We'll shoot that and move back to 20. Break the minute. The, uh, I did a film before about the Black Church Fort site. And it's actually what's well, left of it. Oh, there is nothing left of it. You can hear the cars running. There's a bridge right up there crossing 522. I'm at the Winchester Frederick County Conservation Club. And... Um, <clears throat> This creek comes through right through the edge of the property. It comes down through here, and, and it takes a hard left there, and it goes right full length of the property all the way down through there. But um, as you can tell, let me grab some. There's Black Church. We're just down from the quarry, but it's it's uh it's everywhere through this field. But I noticed this one. <clears throat> I laid it here. Of course, I found that too. I seen the gold leaf. Got me a little MEPS fly. I don't know if it's a good knot. It's pretty rusty. But what does that look like? I think it might be a base off a big old point. I don't know, man. I've seen it laying up on the edge like that. Kind of look interesting. Thought I might have one. If it is, it's broke. I'll probably put that one in my pocket. But, uh,. This place is full of the black shirt. It's just, it's everywhere. And like I said, we're just a couple hundred yards downstream from the from the quarry site. And uh, look around here for a minute. Let's see, what we got. You can tell there's plenty of rocks. Rocks everywhere. It's just not the kind of rocks you guys find. And I'm gonna look around here for a minute. I know I found some fossils in here before, so. See a point yell at me. There's some church there, big old block of it. It's everywhere. But the only problem with the church, it was really it's really veiny. Veins it's got a lot of veins in it, so I don't think it would make they'd probably have to quarry hard to get some decent rock out of it. But they quarried it. Native Americans. I'd love to take a metal detector in here one of these days. I'm probably going to. I don't know if anybody's gonna raise any heck or not. They're pretty strict about some of the rules around here. Even though it is a waterway and should be open to the public. Might draw some flat. There's some more church. Right there. It's all through here. Looks like a lot of uh, sandstone. It's a beautiful creek though. It's a flat hole right there. It's probably about three foot deep. Alright, we're going to look around here a minute. See if we can find anything besides, uh, besides a little spinner and maybe a butt. Maybe nothing, who knows. Play with me, crawl dead. I think he's dead. Let's give him a little nod and see what I, Yeah, he's not. He's had better days. Here's a crawl dead. Fish like him, I wonder why a raccoon or fish ain't ate him already. Creek's pretty clear. It's about as clear as I've ever seen it. It's got a nice silty bottom to it, but definitely clear as could be. I'm sure y'all can see that from this film. Who knows, might find an artillery shell laying in there, a belt buckle, who knows. Alright guys, moving on, Let's see what else we can find. Not sure, but pretty sure it's a turkey underfeather. One of those light ones, pretty cool, pretty outstanding. 
and see what else we can find. Very pretty flyer, wildfire. Little one here, it's pink. Got some blues. Hard to believe, still late in the summer. Still got fires blooming. All right. Hey, Pete, what do you think of that? Outstanding or what? Outstanding. Here it is, uh, mid August, 18th August, I believe it is. We still got wildfires blooming. Pretty cool. All right, moving on. Might have to work tonight, so I'm trying to get some time in. Found out yesterday my back site where we go hunting is getting logged right now, so uh, kind of looking Sorry, forward to maybe walk up sun. there to see what the damage is in my area. I heard it's pretty extensive, so we'll see. And this is a beautiful site, and it's not far right through the trees over there is Interstate 522, so you ain't got to far, go far to get in the woods plenty deer in here too all right later how cool is that I wasn't there last year but if you look right there beaver set up his dam backwater here nice little hole right there you go from probably six inches to a couple feet about three or four feet right in there right up there beaver's got his home you can see it my fingers in a way right right there to the left of my finger got all this debris up there it looks like it's pretty flooded back on the back end up there so you got a busy little beaver somewhere in there awesome maybe you'll see him swimming around it'll probably be upstream instead of downstream though later we'll look for some tracks or something all right it's uh tuesday I think it's the 18th. It's about 11:30. They were calling for showers 11. It just started about five, ten minutes ago. I already got my gear packed up, so got my bow sighted in for 10:20. Took a few shots at 30. Not quite happy with that yet. I'm a little erratic, probably because I'm a little tired. Did a little walk in the creek and been shooting third. I don't know, 30, 30, 30, 40 rounds. Yeah, I haven't shot in a while, so my accuracy's off a little bit. But right now I'm shooting a little. A little to the left, a little high, but then when I get closer to 10, 20, my left right's dead on, so I think I'm drifting and my hold's off a little bit. So, I'll come back another day, I work on 30 and 40, and once I get to done, I'm done with the sighting in, I'm ready for hunting season, I gotta get some target time in. See you guys, this is Earl, later.